All right, just going to do a video of scripturally refuting these charismatic uh, visions of Jesus Christ, these false visions they have of Jesus Christ and showing that they're unscriptural. Uh, because a lot of these charismatics, a lot of them, especially like you got guys like Kenneth Hagin Sr., Kenneth Copeland, uh, William, William Brahman, I think that's how you say it, Benny Hinn, and all those other guys who are claiming they've seen Jesus Christ, even though the fact is that nobody, no mortal human being has seen God, God's face without dying. That's in Exodus 33, verse 20 to 23, Judges 13, verse 20 to 22, and Judges chapter 6, verse 22 to 23 talks about that, and other examples too. And Jesus Christ is a member of the Godhead, 1 John 5, 7, and Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. And nobody's seen God, God's face without, without the fear of dying or outright falling on their face dead. So these charismatic visions of Jesus Christ are unscriptural just by that alone. But I'm going to go through some clear scriptures demonstrating the fact that there are no visions of Jesus Christ today because everything we need is in the Word of God. So let's get right into it. So first of all, the apostles were the last to see the resurrected Christ. The apostles were the last ones to see Jesus Christ, physically see him, basically. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 5 to 8. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. Okay, the apostle Paul was the last one to see Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ appeared to him on the road to, to a Damascus in Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 9. Next point is that the Apostle Peter wrote to the Christians of that day, and he mentions that they did not see Jesus Christ, but rather they walked by faith. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7 to 8. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7 to 8. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with, with joy unspeakable and full of glory. They didn't see Jesus Christ. Why? They walked by faith, not by sight. And I get into that later on, but which is the fact of the matter that Jesus Christ command you to walk by faith, not by sight. And here's also the Apostle Paul. And then my next point, by the way, this goes into my next point, that the Apostle Paul clearly stated that the saint is to walk by faith, not by sight. And if, you have, if you're requiring visions of Jesus Christ, you're not walking by faith. You're having to walk by sight, which is, you know, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 talks about faith is the evidence of things not seen. So when these charismatics will accuse you of, be, of, of lacking faith for denying their counterfeit miracles, it's actually they who lack faith because they are demanding signs and wonders. Kind of like the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, and Matthew chapter 12, verse 38 to 40. These charismatics are no, they are the spiritual descendants of these of the Pharisees of Jesus Christ's day. Uh, that's what it comes down to. They are modern day Pharisees. But anyway, so, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Very simple. Uh, statement right there. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay? But if you're looking for you're looking for visions of Jesus Christ, you're not looking for things that are not seen. You're not having faith. You're not walking by faith, you're walking by sight. Next, my my last point is that Jesus Christ commanded the saint to walk by faith, not sight. John chapter 20 verse 28 to 29. John chapter 20, verse 28 to 29. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, and thou, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen, and yet and yet have believed. Okay? You're walking by faith, not by sight. And also, I want to point this out as well. Regarding visions of Jesus Christ, like I said earlier, no one has seen him in his glorified body. Everyone who saw him in his glorified body in the Bible, okay, I mean, I'll say it like no one today has seen him in his glorified body. Everyone in the scripture who saw him in his glorified body, uh, they fell down on their face dead. Examples of that are also seen in Daniel chapter 8, verse 15 to 17, Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 to 12, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 22 to uh, verse 24, Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 9, Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 6, and Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 to 18, among other examples. Okay, uh, You're not seeing Jesus Christ in his glorified body and, and reacting the way these charismatics do, because the way they react proves they're having a false vision. They're, what they're seeing is they're basically seeing Satan coming as an angel of light, in which 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14 talks about that, how, you know, no marvel for Satan himself 
you know, will come as an angel of light, paraphrasing, of course. But don't be deceived by this charismatic movement and don't be deceived by their lying signs and wonders, which are demonic in nature. This charismatic uh, Pentecostal movement, it is of the devil. They, like I said, they are modern day Pharisees. Uh, according to Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, and Matthew chapter 12, verse 30, 38 to 40, they're demanding signs and wonders instead of just walking by faith. So don't be deceived. May the, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.